Regardless of the business you're in, both your returning and new visitors to your website should be important. You, of course, you want to retain your existing customers and you want to find some new ones as well. So to look at this data in analytics, we're still here, we're in this reporting area where most of your work is done in analytics. And we're going to be looking at behavior, but I want to note something here that can be a little confusing about analytics. You'll see here there's a section for behavior, but we're going to be looking under the behavior in the audience section. So that's just the one, one thing I want to note that you have behavior can be found twice in analytics. So we come to audience, we're in behavior, and then we look at new versus returning. Now over here in this demo account, we see our new visitors account for a significant number of people and returning visitors are quite a bit lower. So this can indicate a couple things. With your new visitors seeing such a strong number there, it means that, you know, for this particular site seems to be doing a pretty good job of marketing. You know, they're getting out there, whether it's in person, online, but they're getting their name, their brand, their website out there. And a lot of people are coming to the website for the first time. Now the returning visitor, with this being quite a bit smaller in this example, it, it could imply that there may not just be, there may not be enough content or enough information that is compelling enough for people to return to the site. Now again, all of these things depend on your business, you know, so maybe if you are lead generation, you really just want to see this new visitor because once they come to your site, fill out a form, the rest of the conversation happens offline so you're not as concerned as the returning visitor number. That doesn't mean as much to you. Now, however, if your site is primarily content related, you know, you have a lot of articles and maybe you make money from having ads on there and you want people to keep coming back and reading your articles, this could be concerning if the returning visitor only shows for 12% of your visitors. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, you look at the new, and the returning, and then you start to look at their behavior. You know, how many are arrived, but then what's the bounce rate like? What's interesting here in this case, you can see the returning visitors viewed a few more pages than the new visitors. Again, all of this in analytics is, this is just raw data, which you will then interpret, interpret based on your particular business model and what your specific marketing efforts are. So again, look at this information new versus returning. Think about what your focus is and if you are meeting your goals as far as acquiring new visitors or bringing returning visitors back to your website.